Okay, for those of you joining, uh, we're doing warm-ups here. We're in an open-air ice rink at Winter Park in downtown Columbus, Ohio, and it is snowing. They just cut the ice. I know you probably can't tell, but they just cut the ice, and we already have a layer of snow on top of it, so this should be a blast. Also, there are no lines on the ice. Uh, there are uh, markers evidently on the board, so they know where the blue line and the red line are, but uh, this is like almost true of pond hockey. And it is cold. And there are no stands, so this is the best view I could get. Alright, we're still warming up. Hopefully we'll drop the puck here in another minute or two. Man, I don't know how they're going to play on this. Snowing to beat the band. Open air ice rink. Hey Bubba, where are you going? That's the Steel City Ice Renegades. That's your Orangeville Rampage. For those of you that uh, didn't watch yesterday's game, we played this team yesterday. Lost a narrow, uh, had a narrow loss. Lost three to two. Kane Burke, our biggest, fell on the ice. Got a. Uh, a dislocated shoulder, so they've gone on home. And there is no, well, there's a little bitty scoreboard over on the other side, so I can't see it. So I won't be able to keep track of time for you guys. And yes, Sandy, this is an awesome experience for the kids. They're playing in the snow, playing ice hockey in a tournament. Columbus, Ohio. And they're probably warmer than we are. <laughs> All right, starting for the Owensboro Rampage, we have McFarland, Pulliam, Biddle, Whited, and Baker. And the puck drops. Goes over to the wall, Pulliam's gonna pick it up. Sends it down to Whited. Renegades knock it down into our offensive zone. McFarland gets, or Pulliam gets it, sends it around the wall to Biddle. Biddle sends it out, clears it. 
Baker gets it into the offensive zone. White is there, pokes it away. Baker picks it up, sends it over to Biddle. Biddle takes a shot and Gully stops it. Yeah, I'm not sure how well that puck's gonna move on this snow on top of the ice. Just a gesture game. Good thing is both teams got the same issue. All right, we switch out our lines. We have uh, Couture, Triplet, uh, Pulliam, McFarland, and Rotizny on the ice now. Face off, Renegades come up with it. Pulliam tried to keep it in the zone, wasn't able to. Send it back to McFarland. McFarland sends it over to Couture. Renegades come up with it. They clear the zone. McFarland's going to chase it down. Back in our defensive zone, he sends it over to Pulliam. Pulliam takes it out, dumps it over to Rotuzny. And Renegades come up with it. They send it over to the far wall. Farland tries it, he does, knock it away. He gets out of there, flips it over, and they knock it back into the neutral zone. Pulliam picks it up, sends it, tries to send it down the wall. Everybody's fighting over it. McFarland comes up with it. Ah, hits the ref. <laughs> Renegades come up with it, take it behind the net, and they get it into the neutral zone. And then dump it. McFarland's going to chase it down into the corner, pops it back to Ryan Payne, who's now on the ice for Orangeboro. We have uh, Ryan Payne, Dalton Revels, and Nathaniel Cox. Lindsay comes in on D. Renegades come up with it behind the net. Ryan Payne's battling for it. Bob Cox tries to send it in front of the net, wasn't able to. McFarland stops it at the blue line. Sends it around the wall to the far side. Revels gets in and battles on the wall and they send it down. Send it across the ice. McFarland's there, takes control, sends it over to Lindsay. Lindsay sends it to Payne. Payne wasn't able to control it. And they dump it again. Cox sends it back down to the offensive zone. Renegades come up with it. They flip it up and over and out of the zone. McFarland picks it up. He dumps it. We have Baker back in on the ice. Baker, Whited, Biddle. They take, Baker takes a shot, hits the wall. Whited picks it up on the far side, tries to send it back behind the net. Baker gets in there and battles. Comes back to Lindsay. He flips it up to Whited. Whited sends it to Baker. Goalie goes back here and takes it away. Sends it. Comes back to McFarland. He sends it over to Lindsay. He sends it up and tips. Oh, just missed the bottom post. And they send it around the wall again. McFarland's going to knock it back up again. And Renegades come up with it. Lindsay's got it, he sends it up to Whited. And then McFarland gets it, sends it around the wall to Biddle. Biddle tries to send it out to Baker. He does, he sends it down the wall. Lindsay sends it over to McFarland. McFarland's got it. Oh, man, it's hard to control that puck on this it's snow on top of the ice. Couture's in. Rituzny. Lindsay stops it at the blue line, knocks it back down. Triplet is in the corner. And they send it across and nice renegades come up with it. Although Rituzny sends it back down the wall, keeps it in the zone. Intercepts a pass, sends it over to Triplet. Triplet's got it. He sends it towards the net. 
They knock it around the wall, McFarland picks it up, he sends it back down to Couture, or Rattusny. Back behind the net, Trip was there battling. Rattusny picks it up, he sends it out to, oh, to Couture for a shot. Lindsay sends it up, it gets knocked away, Lindsay sends another one. It's intercepted. They send it across the ice. Battle on the wall. We send it behind the net. McFarland comes up with it. Flips it up and over. They take it away. Baker sends, uh, Couture sends, or who was that? Yeah, it was Couture. Jake Sisson is in the net. He stops it at the goal. <laughs> My hands are cold. All right, we have Pulliam, Lindsay, Revels, uh, Cox, and Ryan Payne on the ice. They take a shot, Jake slides, stops it. We'll drop the puck right there. Yeah, I got a feeling there won't be very many icings today, but the puck ain't gonna slide that far. <laughs> After the face-off, Lindsay sends it behind the net, Pulliam sends it over to uh, Revels, he gets it out of the zone, he's still battling for it. Lindsay sends it across the ice into the neutral zone. Revels got it, he sends it back to Lindsay. He sends it up to Payne. Payne's got it, he dumps it into the offensive zone. You got Cox and Revels battling for it. Cox gets there. They send it across. Send it out of the neutral zone. It comes out to Lindsay. Lindsay sends it up to Eric Whiter, who comes back in. Ah, oh, he tried to pass it. Wasn't anybody there? They knock it back. Lindsay picks it up again. He sends it out to Whited. Whited gets into the offensive zone. They knock it over. Biddle's back in, by the way. Williams got it. It's in the offensive zone. Baker's back in. Biddle. Biddle's got it. Still trying to control it. McFarland's back in on D. So they've whited. Biddle. Uh, Baker. McFarland and Pulliam. They knock it behind the net again. McFarland's back here to pick it up. He tries to send it out. He does. Gets it to Baker. The puck stops dead right there. This is just incredible to watch. In fact, the snow's still getting a little deep in a few spots. Sometimes you don't even see the puck because it gets covered up with snow. William sends it up to Biddle at the blue line. He stops it. Comes out of the zone. We have a uh, triplet. Couture. Biddle. McFarland and Pulliam on the ice. Lindsay comes in for Pulliam. They send it back behind towards the goal. Jake stops him, drops on top of it. Score still 0 0. Still first period. I have no clue what time it is. <laughs> We'll drop the puck there. I 
Here's for the face off. They take a shot towards the goal, goes to the other side. Lindsay's there, battling on the wall. He sends it back behind the net. They send it out in front of the net. And someone cleared. Oh! took a shot, goalie was able to knock it over, Tuesday intercepts it, sends it across to ice. Lindsay sends it over to McFarlane. He dumps it out into the center to Triplet. Triplet tries to send it over to Couture. Couture knocks it back to Rituzny, back to Couture. They get into the offensive zone. McFarland picks it up. And they're going to call. Yeah, that may be an offside. Still first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Warrensboro versus the Steel City Ice Renegades out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have Cox, Whited. Uh, Revels, Lindsay, and McFarlane on the ice. There for the face off. Puck comes back to Lindsay. He sends it up to, it's not white, it's uh, Ryan Payne. They both have a white helmet. I sometimes get them confused. They take a shot. Jake drops on top of it. McFarland, Pulliam, Payne, Cox, and Rebels. Send it around the wall. Ah! Pulliam comes up with it, sends it up to Ryan Payne. He gets in the neutral zone. Renz Gates come up with it. Well, they scored. <clears throat> so Orange Rolls down one to zero. Baker, Biddle, Triplet on the ice. Looks like Triplet gets in the offensive zone. They knock it back. Pulliam comes up with it, tries to send it back into the neutral zone. Can't tell where the blue line is, so I don't know if he made it or not. Lindsay picks this one up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a snow plow. <laughs> Lindsay's got it behind the net. He sends it towards the wall. They take a shot, goes behind the net again. Pulliam picks it up. And they're gonna call a penalty on Jackson Lindsay, it looks like. He checked a kid twice. <laughs> Guess one of them was illegal. All right, we're going to be on a penalty kill now. Yes, Lori, you're probably much warmer than we are right now. Baker's got him one now. Gonna try to run down here with it. Ah, lost it in the snow. Gets it back. 
Tries to send it over to Triplet, doesn't get there. Baker takes it back, sends it over to Triplet. And they take it away. and that's the end of the first period. <laughs> okay, after one period, once it rolls down, one to zero. Uh, by the way, that's uh, Dennis Wilson. He's uh, one of the dads. He's frozen at the moment. At least you can see. You can't see over there. <laughs> There's a uh, goalie mom, Paula Cisna. Where are you, go you going to warm up? Yes. They're going to cut the ice. <laughs> going to cut the ice? Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Looks like they're going to cut the ice uh, between the first and second period. They cut the ice right before the game started. So this may be a long game. Oh, well, you know. Hey. The pain daddy showed up. <laughs> y'all just here. now got here? We just now what got here. What time did y'all leave Orange World this morning? You're being interviewed well, on we the were, live on we, Facebook. We went up to Bridget's, so we left Louisville. Oh, that's right. You left Louisville. How long did it take you to get here from Louisville? About. Uh, three and a half hours. Nah. Was it actually three and a half, four? Yeah, three, it was three and a half, four. I thought. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it cost It's wedding. snowing bad for we since you, isn't it? We're about, about 340, 350. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what, uh, you know, I'm just interviewing here. Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Donald Trump? Uh, <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> 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 That's a trap. Well, which, which part of it do we want to be talking about? <laughs> I say we just stick to hockey. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to do a cut halfway through the second. Oh, halfway through the second they're going to cut? Okay, so I'm being told now by the experts no, 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 no. <laughs> that they're going to cut ice halfway through the second period. So here's Jake Sisson in the go. He's shoveling snow. He's going to build a snowman there, and it's going to be a big size snowman. I can tell you what. Now coming up the side, there's nobody going to get a puck in. It's going to stick like it's cool. Yeah. All right. For those of you joining late, it is the beginning of the second period. Orange World's down one to zero. We're playing in an open air ice rink here at Winter Park in downtown Columbus, Ohio, and it's snowing, and the ice is covered. Starting for the second period, we have McFarland, Pulliam, um, Cox, Biddle. Yeah. And we're on a penalty kill, by the way. McFarland's able to ice it all the way. It won't make it all the way to the other end because nothing slides on this. <laughs> oh! Oh, wow! Yes. Trevor Biddle gets down there, picks it up, slams it in, ties the game. It's one to one. Orangeboro versus Steel City Renegades from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, that was a shorthanded goal for Trevor Biddle. That goalie, he hit it on the all right, we dropped the puck. McFarland tries to knock it back in. He's shoveling snow as he's doing it. He sends across ice to Cox. He's able to ice that one, get it back behind the net. There it goes back there and stops it. Sends it around the wall. And the... Almost got it out of zone. Yeah, McFarland's able to tip one away, send it back into the neutral zone. Pulliam picks it up this time, sends it out to Biddle. Biddle's got a race. Oh, wasn't able to get there. Yeah, so, so the heat, that's why he keeps Cox is going to pick this, or McFarland's going to pick this one up. 
he knocks it up to Biddle, Biddle sends it and dumps it. All right, the penalty is over. Orangeville's back at full power. And Rattuzny comes out on the ice. Lindsay comes out of the penalty box. And here come the Renegades. William Ziegler knocks that one away. They send it towards the net. But Baker's there to pick it up. So we have Baker, Rattuzny, Pulliam, McFarland, and Triplett on the ice. Baker's battling on the wall, got checked. They send it around and get it out of the zone. Pulliam stops it and he dumps it again. McFarland stops this one, knocks it back in. Uh, Baker tries a shot towards the goal. They send it back to him. Baker's got it. Flips it up and over towards the goal to Rattuzny. He's battling behind the wall. Behind the goal. Juicy still got it. He tries to flip it over around and the Renegades come up with it. But Baker steals it back, sends it out to Rattuzny. Rattuzny takes a shot and it goes in. <laughs> Josh Rattuzny gives Orangeville the lead, two to one, sometime in the second period because I can't see the scores table here and the clock is tiny. Yes, the cheerleaders are here, and they are in this heated tent right behind me watching the game. You can see them over there, maybe. <laughs> so they're, they're cheering, I guess, from that location. Back on the ice for Orangeboro, we have Rebels, Cox, Payne, Pulliam, and McFarland. We're in the second period. Orangeboro leads 2-1. to one. Cox is able to knock it back down in the offensive zone. And they come up with it and dump it. Pulliam's going to pick it up behind the net. Still battling. Comes up with it. Sends it up to uh, Rebels, who sends it out into the neutral zone. I think they're going to call a an offside. There are no lines, and even if there were, they couldn't see them because we have a quarter of an inch of snow on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told uh, I told uh, Jake's parents before the game that he'll, he'll have a shutout today because by the rule book, uh, a goal is only scored when the puck crosses the goal line. Well, if there is no goal line, <laughs> they can't score on it. All right, they send it around the wall. Here come the Renegades trying to set something up. Rebels gets in there, knocks it away. Sends it back down. Comes all the way back to Pulliam. Pulliam sends it up to Rebels. Rebels knocks it back to Cox. Cox flips it up and over towards the net. It goes to the far corner. Rebels is over there battling for it. He sends it up the wall. Payne gets in there. They're battling. And the Renegades come up with it. Here they come again. They dump it. Get it behind the net. Pulliam's there. Checked into the wall. They send it towards the net. Farland's going to get it right here. Ah, they take it away from him. Rebels is able to intercept that pass. They send it behind the net. McFarland's there. He flips it around the wall. Nice check from McFarland. And it looks like they're going to call a penalty. Or maybe an injury. I'm not sure if they called a penalty on that because it looked legal to me. Unless they called it an elbow. Yeah, McFarland's going to the penalty box. Orangeville's going to be on a penalty kill again. We're in this sometime in the second period. Orangeville leads two to one. All right, Orange rolls down a man. We got Lindsey, <coughs> Pulliam, uh, Triplett, and Baker on the ice. Yeah, Triplett's able to flip it up and over into the neutral zone. Baker gets in there, steals it away, maintains control, flips it up and over to the other side to Triplett. Triplett tried to pick it off, wasn't able to. Renegades have it now. But Baker steals it back, dumps it back behind the net. 
shots. Well, you only get like one or, one or two shots. And that's it. They're, they're, they have a, a penalty like ours. Yeah. 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 They can't even get it out of their own spot. This team is not the like one. I guess you know. Renegades come up with it. Here they come. And we're able to knock it back into the neutral zone. The Biddle comes in for Baker. So we have Biddle, Triplet, Pulliam, and Lindsay on the ice. They take a shot. It goes left of the net. Pulliam's behind there battling for it. And we're able to ice it. So that one had some bounce. It didn't get stuck in the snow. <laughs> All the way to the other end. Biddle checks him into the wall. Here come the Renegades. They dump it. It goes behind the net. Tuesday sends it around to the far corner. So we're Tuesday, Pulliam, and Biddle. And Jake Sisna stops that one. Okay, sometime in the second period, Orange rolls up two to one. We're still on a penalty kill for I don't know how long. <laughs> yeah, it makes me wonder if he purposely broke that one because he was looking at it. He was he was really eyeing one at the uh, hockey world earlier. Kids would not do such things. Yeah. All right, so we're in the middle of the second period, and it looks like they're going to take a break, and we're going to have an ice cut. So your videographer, whose fingers are frozen, is going to continue the live feed, but I'm going to go into this little heated tent right here, and I'm going to warm up. <laughs> All right, so here are the Orangeboro Rampage cheerleaders, who are the smartest people here in Columbus because they stayed in the heated tent. <laughs> You've been getting everybody cheered up in back here, haven't you? All right, these are a couple hockey moms. Hello. Hey, there's a whole bunch of hockey moms watching. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's only three here. We miss everybody. This this ended up being a guys' weekend with three hockey moms and a whole bunch of dads. Yeah. It's been great. <laughs> She says that with just a touch of sarcasm. <laughs> We've missed all the hockey moms this weekend. Yes. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put the phone down for a second, guys, so I can warm up my hands. <laughs> um, well, I know, uh, I know Lori and Courtney and Sandy and a whole bunch of other ones are watching. Sandy's yeah. watching. I'll go because I need things for my Cold. I forgot I was tied to it. It's fine. We'll keep running. Well, I think your dad needs something. <laughs> Alright, the good thing is I might be able to cut out this uh, intermission here. <laughs> No, that's the middle of the second. second. That's and then you're going to stop in the middle of the game. They're going to do the cut back in the middle. Oh, Lori Couture says she misses y'all too. So. This is a great experience for the boys, though. But you know it's hard out there. Are you staying in here yeah. or going back out? I'm gonna stay in here for a while. Okay. You gonna leave some? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have my. Own. Right. For those of you watching live, we're getting a nice cut in the middle of the second period, so I'm taking a break to warm up. So just ignore anything that you hear these people talking about. <laughs>
this cold. <laughs> yeah, um, we were talking about going to Smoky Bones for a team dinner. Maybe around five, something like that. There'll be enough time to get back to the hotel, get the kids, get a shower, and then go to Smoky Bones. Does that sound good to you? It's only about 10 minutes from the hotel. It's up there where it's near Piranis. It's near Piranis, where the restaurant is. It's over there by Piranis. They finally got the Zamboni on the ice, and they're just now starting. So it's going to be at least another 10, 15 minutes, guys, before we get back. I'll just keep it running. You might hear some good gossip on this end. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I, I came over here where all the hockey moms and everybody was standing, and they all took off after they realized it was still live. <laughs> see that wall on the far side over there that's actually where the snow has started covering the glass because it's still coming down this is the heated tent Stay right there. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
<laughs> hey Kurt, I just noticed you, you just came on. We are actually in the middle of the second period. Warnsboro leads two to one. They are cutting the ice because it's snowing so hard. It was like shoveling snow to uh, hit the puck. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking he's getting close to being done. Not sure. Oh, so we're in a heated tent right next to the rink. Here's your hockey families. All right, y'all stop gossiping. There they are. The Paynes, for those of you that are wondering, the Paynes made it back, made it here from Louisville. Y'all were in Louisville. It was a bad yeah. drive. It was a bad drive. Uh, I'm just filling up time. I'm still live. I'm still live, Paula. <laughs> There's a There's the hockey dads, the ones that know it all. Yeah. Yeah. And Jenny Payne just popped in. <laughs> hey Jenny, uh, we are in the middle of the second period. Orangeboro is leading two to one. They are cutting the ice. Actually, the Zamboni just left the rink, so we should be starting. Actually, there's our boys coming back out to the ice. So we'll start here in a couple minutes for the remainder of the game. Those were leads two to one. We're playing in an open air ice rink in downtown Columbus at Winter Park. It's cold and it's been snowing like crazy. are back on the ice. So I'm going to head back out to the rink and we'll begin the rest of the game. Like I said earlier, it's the middle of the second period. And once we're leads, two to one. over here and get my spot. <laughs> it's been an awesome experience for the boys. Play in a situation like this, there are no lines. Uh, the refs know where the lines are supposed to be. They're marked on the boards, but there are no lines. Even if there were, the snow on top of the ice would have been sent them anyway. So. Okay, looks like we are almost ready. For those of you who just joined back, we are starting back. We're middle of the second period. Orangeboro leads two to one. We are on a penalty kill. I have no idea how much time is left in the penalty kill. On the 
the Ice Warrensboro, we have Pulliam, Lindsay, Triplett, and Baker. <laughs> and here we go. Renegades come up with it after the face-off. Puck comes over to the wall. Lindsay sends it up to uh, Triplet. Battling on the wall. Lindsay's in there. Lindsay comes up with it. Oh! He's <laughs> I think he's embarrassed. <laughs> you have to really grab that puck with the stick in the snow. And, uh, uh, so he picked it up <laughs> it went up and hit the uh, players bench so I'm gonna drop the puck right there and there's from Jackson's mama close up of his boy or her boy all right we get it out of the zone Farland comes in by the way Penalty's over. We're back at uh, full power. They send it across the ice. McFarland's going to pick it up. There's not as much snow now, so the puck is sliding. Before the uh, ice cut, it was it was like shoveling snow. Lindsay picks it up, sends it off the wall. Pullian's going to pick this one up. Sends it out to Baker or McFarland. Tries to get it out of the zone. Lindsay's going to pick it up behind the net. Sends it over to Baker. To Triplet. Triplet's got a run here. Tries to slam it towards the goal. Got poked away. Still battling for it. Sends it towards the net. And Farland's there trying to shove it in. And they get it out of the zone. Comes all the way back to Lindsay at the line. He sends it towards the net. Goes wide left. Baker picks it up on the far wall corner. Sends it back behind the net. Lindsay takes the shot. It goes towards the go. Oh, just missed the post. And Farland sends it back and dumps it. Goes behind the net. Here come the Renegades. We send it all the way down. Pulliam wasn't able to stop it. They're going to call icing on that one. Take it to the other end. Drop the puck. Uh, we have Pulliam, Lindsay, McFarland, Biddle, and Couture on the ice. Uh, and Lindsay goes out. Rituzny comes in. Owensboro leads 2-1. to one. We're somewhere in the second period. After the face-off, but comes back to Couture. He takes a shot. Actually, I think that was Pulliam took the shot. It's all right. It's in the neutral zone now. Renegades have it. And Rituzny was able to knock it away. Pulliam picks it up. Takes it behind the net. Sends it around the wall to Couture. Couture's got it. He kicks it down. Biddle's got it now. He gets it into the neutral zone. Comes back to Pulliam. Pulliam, oh, tries to shoot it up. It hits Rituzny. Rituzny's fighting like a dog. And he sends it across the ice to Biddle. And the Renegades come up with it. Then uh, they lose it. Pulliam sends it up to Rituzny. Rituzny tries to dump it down into the corner. McFarland picks it up. And here come the Renegades. They've got a two on one. Couture catches up though. They send it towards the goal. And Biddle knocks it out to Payne. Payne's on the ice, Ryan Payne. Couture picks it up, sends it to Pulliam. Looking for a man, he sends it along the wall, gets it into the neutral zone. They send it across the ice. And now Pulliam's going to pick it up. He sends it up to Payne. Payne dumps it. That may be an icing. 
It is. So they're going to bring it back down on this end, drop the puck. Still second period, Orangeville leads 2-1. to one. Well, Jeff, the ice was really nice the first two minutes. And then the snow started really hitting hard. <laughs> and so they cut the ice in the middle of the second period because it was like uh, snow plows with sticks. <laughs> They take a shot, Jake Sisna reaches out, drop, and stops it. All right, we have uh, Lindsey, McFarland, Cox, Rebels, and Payne on the ice. With Jake Sisna in the goal. After the faceoff, but comes back to McFarland. He sends it around the wall to Rebels. Rebels tried to get it knocked out of there. Comes on the opposite side, McFarland picks it up. Oh, Lindsey. Knocks it back out. They take a shot, glove save from Jake Sisson in the goal. Orangeboro leads two to one. Face off, Lindsey sends it over to McFarland. He flips it up and over and gets out of the zone. Ryan Payne's on a race here. He's got it, he's got a one on two. He sends it across the ice. Uh, Cox or uh, Rattuzny picks it up, or Revels picks it up. Still battling behind the wall or behind the net, and the Renegades come up with it. They send it across the ice. Lindsay's got it. He sends it up to uh, Revels, who dumps it. And they send it back down again. Here comes McFarland. He's going to pick it up in the corner. He dumps it off the wall. And they knock it back. Lindsay picks it up. Sends it in the neutral zone. By the way, Baker's back in. Baker, Whited, McFarland, Biddle, and Lindsay. Lindsay checks him in the wall. McFarland picks up the puck. He sends it out to Baker. Baker's got a, oh, a run out. They tipped it away. They take a shot, goes wide left. Biddle picks it up in the middle, sends it across the ice. They take a shot, glove save from Jake Cisna. All right, Orangeville still leads two to one. We should be near the end of the second period. Uh, score clock is too small and it's covered with snow on the other side, so I can't see it. <laughs> There's uh, <laughs> did y'all hear that? He said, hey, mom, that's Grayson McFarland. <laughs> All right, so we have McFarland, Pulliam, um, Triplett, Rattuzny, and Couture. Jake Sisson stops another one. Way to go, Jake! These boys are going to be cold and wet. <laughs> All right, puck drop. Renegades try to take a shot. Gets deflected, McFarland sends it around the wall. Couture's there, he gets it out of the zone. Uh, Triplet picks it up, sends it over to, oh, Rattuzny tries to take a shot. Goalie was able to jump out there and stop it. Comes all the way back to Pulliam. He takes a shot towards the goal, goes wide left. And he races over to the wall. McFarland takes a slap shot. Hits one of the renegades, and here they come. Uh, Jake John <laughs> reaches out and snags that one. Two to one, Orange Whirl. It looks like that's the. Okay. Yeah, there was a stoppage play there. 
the refs went over to talk to the coaches, but I guess there wasn't anything called. All right, we switch out our lines. We have Revels, Payne, Cox, Pulliam, and McFarland on the ice. Looks like they're going to call a penalty. Oh, no, that wasn't a penalty. Is that the end of the period? Yeah. That was the end of the second period. Okay, we'll start the third period here in a few seconds. <laughs> Is it kind of angled? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of angled. There we go. There are no lines on the ice, for those of you that didn't hear that earlier. So everything's a big guessing game. <laughs> Hey, your 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 better half, the more beautiful part of your family is watching. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, mom. I mean Dana, Nick. Nick's watching too. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. For those of you that just joined or didn't hear earlier, we are beginning the third period here in a second. Orangeboro leads two to one over the Steel City Ice Renegades from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We lost this to this team in a very tight game yesterday, three to two. They scored with about a minute to go in the game to to win three to two. Um, we're up one going into the third period, two to one. We're playing in an open air ice rink. It's snowing hard and it's cold. Yes, Renee, it, it's snowing hard in the first period, so they had to, in the middle of the second period, because it got so bad, they had to do a nice cut. All right, puck drops for the beginning of the third period. Renegades come up with it after the faceoff. Send it over. Couture is able to keep it in the zone. Baker steals it, gets ahead of him. Tries to send it up to Triplet. Oh! Triplet almost got, was able to knock that one in. All right, we have McFarland, Lindsey, Baker, Biddle, and Triplett on the ice for the Orangeboro Rampage. Start of the third period. Orangeboro leads two to one. Face off, but comes back to Triplett. Oh, he tries to smack it. It's kind of hard to uh, judge sometimes with this ice the way it is. Lindsey sends it up to Baker. Baker towards the net, comes back to Lindsey. Lindsey sends it back up to Baker. Gets knocked away, They're battling on the wall. Renegades get it out of there. All right, McFarland was able to knock it away. They're gonna call an offside. Drop the puck right there. Okay, we bring in Whited, Biddle, McFarland, um, gets Rituzny and Lindsay on the ice. After the faceoff, puck goes off to the corner there. And Biddle steals it. Biddle's got a run here. He can control it. Hard to control this puck. Oh, nice shot from Josh Rituzny for his second goal of the game. Gives the Orangeville a 3 1 lead in the third period. Do what? He was looking for the puck. Oh, okay. The, the other guy shot <laughs> All right, Orangeboro leads three to one. We're some early in the third period. Renegades get it after the faceoff. That's behind the net. White it stops it. Rituzny checks him into the wall. Renegades come up with it again. Get it behind the net. Send it around the wall. Lindsay was able to stop it at the blue line. Tuesday's got it. Renegades come out of there with it. They get it into the neutral zone, send it along the wall, dumps it behind the net. 
Lindsay gets in there and steals it back. Still sends around the wall to Rituzny. Rituzny out to the middle of the ice to Biddle. Just a little bit ahead of him. Rituzny sends it again to Biddle. Biddle's got it, and they're going to call an offside. It's so hard to see where the blue line is, especially those guys that are really good about hugging the blue line when they're on a run. Biddle goes across the line, so they're going to drop the puck there. Orange World leads 3-2. to two, or Excuse me, 3-1. to one. We're probably about 10 minutes to go in the game, give or take. Ryan Payne, uh, Dalton Rebels, Nathaniel Cox, Jackson Lindsay, and Grayson McFarland on the ice for the Orangeboro Rampage. Jake Sisson in the goals, having a great game. Lindsay, oh, wasn't able to stop it at the blue line. Comes out of there. He sends it back up to Rebels towards the offensive zone. Renegades come up with it, send it across the ice. They dump it back behind the net. Lindsay's going to race back and get it. And we send it back to the blue line. McFarland was able to get it out of his zone. Ryan Payne's going to try to race him back, pick it off. Checks him into the wall, steals the puck, takes a shot, gets deflected. Baker comes in, knocks it towards the net. Lindsay sends it towards, gets it onto the other side. Ryan Payne's gonna get it, pick it up. Battle on the wall. Everybody's looking for the puck, and they flip it up and over out into the neutral zone. Lindsay picks it up, sends it up to Couture, who's back in? So we have Couture, Baker. Oh, nice pass from Baker to Couture. He wasn't able to knock it in. And the snow's really starting to come down again. Renegade's got it at the blue line. Lindsay knocks it away. Goes back to the other side. McFarland picks it up, sends it around the wall. They took a shot, hit the post. Trippett gets in there, knocks it out of the zone. Send it back into the neutral zone and dump it behind the net. Lindsay picks it up. He sends it across the ice. McFarland's got it. He gets it out. Ah, gets it poked away. Still battling. Still battling. Gets it up to Biddle. And they're going to call an offside again. Winsboro leads three to one. We're somewhere in the middle of the third period. <clears throat> All right, we have McFarland, Pulliam, Rituzny, Biddle, and Whited on the ice for the Winsboro Red Age. Puck comes back to McFarland, sends it over to Pulliam. He takes a shot. Hits the wall, bounces up, on the net, they send it around the wall. Pulliam's got it. He sends it towards the back wall, comes onto the other side where Tuesday picks it up. They send it back to the blue line. Slap shot from, oh, <laughs> that goalie reached out there and grabbed that one. I thought that was going to hit uh, Eric White in the back. All right, I'm going to drop the puck right there. Orange World leads 3-1. to one. After the face-off, but comes back to McFarland. He's able to dump it, goes behind the net. Renegade sent it back towards the wall, the blue line. 
Pulliam picked it up. Ah, oh, get it taken away. Oh, they're going to call a penalty on uh, Grace McFarlane for a hip check. I think they're going to call boarding because he hip checked him and he slammed into the wall. So Grayson's going to the penalty box. We're going to be on a penalty kill. I have no clue how much time is left in the game, but we're somewhere in the middle of the third period. Once we're leads three to one. All right, on the ice for the Orangeville Rampage, we have. Uh, Leighton Pulliam, Jackson Lindsay, Eric Whited, and uh, Trevor Biddle. At the face off, Biddle gets it. He's on a run with Eric Whited. Ah, gets it poked away. And here come the Renegades again. Comes back to Lindsay. Lindsay sends it back into the neutral zone. They send it out again. Lindsay picks it up, or uh, Biddle picks it up. Looking for something. He's able to ice it. Nice check from Eric White. It steals the puck. Sends it towards, oh, sends it towards uh, Trevor Biddle, who's there to knock one in. And the Renegades come up with it. All right, good D that time from Pulliam and Lindsay, and Biddle was able to ice it. They send it back out into the neutral zone. It looks like the whistle blew for something. Not quite sure what they call there. High stick. High stick. Okay. All right, we have. Couture, Pulliam, Cox, and Rattuzny on the ice now. Buck drops. Renegades pick it up. Sitting across ice. Ah. Rattuzny gets in there, steals it away. Renegades come back up with it. Couture touches it. We've got it in the corner. Jake stops another one. Okay, we're still on a penalty kill. Several minutes left in the third period. Once we're leads three to one. I don't want to ask the boys. <laughs> I tell you what, Sandy, I uh, saw your comment there about uh, Trevor's uh, hips. That boy is needs to do clinics for other kids on how to do a hip check. They take a shot, goes to the far right. Ah, Bob's able to knock that out of there. Gets in there, tries to steal it away. Uh, Rattuzny was battling with him. Here they come. Nice work. Bo Couture. But I think they're going to call a tripping on him. No, nope, Bob Cox. He might be as crazy as some of them. All right, so Bob's going into the penalty box. So that was a uh, slashing, it looks like. And we have Couture, Triplet, Pulliam, and McFarland on the ice. Jake's just in the goal. Orangeboro leads three to one. Um, <laughs> nice job, Bo Couture, to ice it. Renegades come up with it. Send it into the neutral zone. They dump it towards the net. Jake stops another one. Pulliam tries to send it out, and he does clear the zone. 
We're going to Renegades again. McFarland's got it. He sends it back into the neutral zone. They dump it. Goes behind the net. Williams back there to pick it up. Looking for something. He sends it out directly to the blue line. They take a slap shot. And Couture picks it up. Sends it back again. They take another shot. They take a shot this time. And he goes in. That was a tip off a shot. So it's now 3-2. to two, Warrensboro. Okay, out for Orangeboro. We have Ryan Payne, Jason Baker, Jackson Lindsay, and Grayson McFarlane. I thought they scored. Oh, Ryan Payne almost had him to knock in. They sent it around the wall to Lindsay. Lindsay sends it back towards the net. Renegades come up with it. Ryan Payne gets in there and interferes on them. They maintain control though. And they come again. Lindsay knocks it away. McFarland gets in there and knocks it away. McFarland picks this one up, sends it towards the blue line. They knock it back down and uh, so I don't know what they're calling there. Here, that was an offside. Hey, did we not score? Did they not score? They score three, two. Well, why would they come down here and face off? <laughs> what? Oh, they come down here and face off? I thought oh, they did. They just said it didn't count. Oh. So three to one. Okay. High stick. Oh, was it a high stick? Okay. That's right, because it was a tip and the stick was too high. Okay. All right, shot from Ryan Payne went left of the right of the uh, left of the post. So Warnsboro leads three to one. That uh, other goal was called off because of a high stick. Lindsay sends it back towards the net, and they get it out of the zone. They send it towards the goal, and Jake stops it. That hot tub in the uh, hotel is sounding better and better the longer I stand out here in this. <laughs> All right, we have Biddle whited. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday tries to send another one in. Oh, it went in. No, it didn't. Oh, they didn't count it? Okay. All right. Well, they didn't go in, but it was right there. Go League did, did a good job of stopping that one. Okay. Lindsey McFarland, Whited, Rituzny, and Biddle. Puck comes back to McFarland. He sends it, dumps it back into the corner. Whited's there battling for it. Biddle picks it up. Rituzny sends it towards the net, goes off into the corner. Battling on the wall, Biddle gets in there, muscles them out. They're still fighting for it. Puck comes out of there, and it comes back to Lindsay. He sends it up to Rituzny, to Whited. Oh, lost his footing. And here come the Renegades. Sitting across the ice, Rituzny picks that one off. Oh, <laughs> I think they're going to call a penalty. Looks like Eric was having a pleasant discussion, exchanging recipes with one of the re Renegades fellas. Looks like Orangeboro's going to be on a power play. This might be our first power play of the game. Oh, 
All right, back on the ice for Warnsboro, we have Baker, Couture, Triplet, Pulliam, and McFarland. Warnsboro leads three to one. Face off, but comes back to Couture. Couture sends it back to Pulliam. Pulliam sends it across the ice to McFarland. McFarland sends it up. Baker wasn't able to get it. He picks it up in the corner. Comes back to Pulliam. Pulliam's got it. Oh, it's knocked into the corner. Sends it back to Couture. Couture's got it. He sends it up to Pulliam. Pulliam sends it around back behind the net. Triplet picks it up on the far side. Takes it around, looking to set something up. And he comes out of the zone. He sends it over to Couture. Couture's got it. Couture picks it up again, sends it across ice to Pulliam. Ooh, gets it poked away. And then McFarland picks it up. He sends it across the ice to Pulliam. He misses it. McFarland goes over and picks it up. Sends it up the ice to Pulliam. Is that the end of the game? That's the end of the game. Orangeboro wins 3-1. to one. Our next game is tonight at 9-10 Central Time in Orangeboro. Be playing the Canadian team, the Sioux Steelheads out of Toronto. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go get warm.